Hello! Welcome to Joyful Stories! Before we begin our story, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe! Today, we're going to read the story, The Tin Soldier. Are you ready? Let's begin! Happy birthday, Tom! said Grandpa. Wow, thanks! Just what I wanted! Tom cried. Ten soldiers! Oh dear, this soldier only has one leg, said Grandpa. Attention! Quick, march! Tom didn't mind. He spent all day playing. At bedtime, he packed the soldiers back in their box. But the one-legged soldier was missing. Where's he gone? wondered Tom. Don't worry, you can look for him tomorrow, said Grandpa. Tom's other toys waited until he was asleep. All clear! Now it was their turn to play. Whoopee! Ha ha! Yippee! The soldiers tried to join in, but they were stuck in their box. Except for the one-legged soldier. He had fallen behind a pile of toy building blocks, but he didn't join in the games. He was gazing at the fairy tale palace in the corner. It once belonged to Tom's sister. A paper ballerina doll stood in the doorway. The pretty ballerina was dancing on one leg. She'd be a perfect wife for me, said the soldier. Suddenly, the grumpy jack-in-the-box sprang up. Keep your eyes to yourself. The soldier ignored him. He smiled at the ballerina. She smiled back. The jealous jack-in-the-box turned bright red. Just wait, he fumed. The next morning, Tom found his missing soldier. He put him by the window. The cruel jack-in-the-box saw his chance. Ha ha! So long, soldier boy! He took a deep breath and blew as hard as he could. The tin soldier fell out of the window. He landed on the street below. Ow! cried the soldier. He tried to move, but his foot was stuck. The two boys ran up. Look, shouted one, a tin soldier. Let's turn him into a sailor, said the other. They made a little boat out of an old newspaper. They stood the tin soldier in the boat. Then they dropped it in the gutter. The soldier's boat sailed along the street. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh no! The tin soldier wished the boat would stop. I feel sick. But things were about to get worse. There was a drain hole in the road ahead. What do you think will happen next? Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe for more stories like this. Hit the subscribe button right now. Thank you. Now, back to our story. The paper boat shot down the drain. Whoa! It landed, splosh, in a dirty, smelly sewer. Pooh, said the soldier as he sailed along the tunnel. He turned the bend. A fat black rat was in his way. Stop! Pay me a penny to pass, ordered the rat. The soldier had no money. He couldn't stop anyway. Sorry, Stinky. Hey, come back! The soldier sailed on and on. I'm miles from home. Will I ever see the ballerina doll again? He wondered. Just then, he noticed daylight up ahead. Seconds later, the boat whooshed out of the sewer. It landed in a river. No! The tin soldier was glad to be out of the sewer. 
but he wasn't happy for long. Now his boat was leaking. The next moment he was sinking like a stone. Help! And things were about to get worse. A huge fish swam by. Mmm, he looks tasty. It swallowed the tin soldier in one gulp. A little hard, but not bad. Oh no! The soldier sat sadly in the fish's tummy. I'll be here forever. But his luck was about to change. A man caught the fish. Ought a beauty! He took it to sell at the market. Tom's grandpa bought the fish. He carried it home for supper. He unwrapped the fish, and the tin soldier fell out. Grandpa took the tin soldier to Tom's room. Look who I found! Welcome home, soldier! Shouted Tom. All the toys were glad to see the tin soldier, except one. He went hopping mad, broke his spring, and never worked again. The very next day, the tin soldier married the lovely ballerina, and they invited all the toys to a noisy party. After Tom was asleep, of course. Whoopee! Yippee! Ha ha ha! The end. Thank you for watching. See you next.